Okay, I wasn't planning on doing this, but never mind. Uh, this is the RGB LED chain that I was playing with yesterday from IKEA. Um, I have just written a quick Glasgow applet which will drive the chain uh, using the protocol that we discovered. And uh, it's using the onboard pull-up resistors. Currently there's a 10K uh, resistor which is built in, and I've augmented that with a 330 ohm resistor as well. Um, as you can see from the scope trace, the voltage does sag quite considerably when the LEDs are lit. And even when the LEDs are off, we're still not hitting the 5 volts that Glasgow is configured for. So um, they seem to have quite a high quiescent current. Um, the Glasgow digital I.O. pin I'm currently driving these from is only so capable. I think it's um, something like 50 milliamps it's good for. Um, so yeah, not ideal, but never mind. Um, if we zoom in on the, the transitions, the, you know, the, the, the protocol that we were decoding, um, you can see that... I ignore the, the regulation, it's horrible, admittedly, but you can see that actually I've removed those last three bits, um, so those trailer bits. I was wondering if maybe those were uh, dressing or something, allowing us to have a number of different LEDs on a single chain, but uh, nope, they seem to be not required, and changing the value in those three bits, uh, these LEDs will still respond, so I think that's just uh, maybe a bug in the firmware from IKEA or something like that. Never mind.